Hi yogis, I hope you're doing well and you're staying joyful and, and keep active and busy. I want to offer you today um, a mountain flow to keep you active, to keep your strength going. Um, so if you're not familiar with mountain, let me tell you a word about it. Our mountain flow is our strength building flow. So what we like to do is we start our practice with a core warm up to again awaken our energy center, our hara center, so it makes your practice even more efficient. Um, and then we move into a slow meditative flow. So we hold the posture a little longer, there are less pulses, and then we finish with a little series at the wall. So you're gonna need a wall, make sure you clear up some room if you need to. Um, I have limited room here in this apartment. Madeline is on the other side, so we'll see. She might make an appearance or two, hopefully not too many, but bear with me. And uh, make sure to keep the joy going. Make sure to just have fun in your practice. Be safe if you have any injuries, anything going on, you take care of yourself. I will offer many variations for all of you. So if you're new to inversion, you take the gentle variation, no hurry to get anywhere, but more than anything, be safe, take care of yourself, okay? So that's your responsibility to stay safe on and off the mat. Uh, that being said, let's turn off practice. So I invite you before we start to think about something you're grateful for today. So me, I'm grateful for you, I'm grateful for this community. I know this is a difficult time, but I'm so happy to see um, that a lot of my friends are checking on me daily to make sure that you know we stay positive and we stay connected to each other so I'm so grateful for all of that for this this um, love and, and generosity that that is um, you know going and growing uh, and also we're gonna go into our spiritual stand now so first think about something you're grateful for what are you grateful for today what are you grateful for today And then our spiritual sana this week for Sunday, so I mean we switch, we change spiritual sana. And this week we're on satya. Satya is translates from Sanskrit to English into truthfulness. So we stay true to ourselves. We stay true to our core, to our essence, especially in these times where there is a lot of chaos, uncertainty, uncertainties, maybe fear for some of us. Um, stay true to your core, to your essence, which is love love so that's what i want you to remember throughout this week whenever you know things or the universe or this situation is bringing you down like knocking you out of your center can you find your place back to love back to love and again back to love and give yourself some slack you know that you're all you you know that you're human right so that means nobody is perfect and sometimes we'll make mistakes sometimes we'll say things we we don't mean or we shouldn't have said sometimes we will think things that we shouldn't think or we shouldn't have been thinking according to the love standards right but love forgives so just notice don't beat yourself up about it be compassionate with yourself and find your way back to love find your way back to love again and again and that's my invitation for you i hope it serves you and that being said let's turn a practice a powerful mountain practice Find yourself in a comfortable seated position, a half lotus, full lotus, and easy sit, right foot in front of the left if you need to, a block underneath the sit bones to keep the knees lower than the hips. Then we connect four fingers, thumbs together, connect the body and the mind, close your eyes, allow yourself to move in more. Right here, set your intention for your practice, your mountain practice of satya, truthfulness. What are you ready to walk on today? in the spirit of truth, in the spirit of love. Reconnect with your breath now, your ujjayi, victorious breath. Take a full deep inhale through the nose, fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. Exhale through the nose. last time in exhale 
extend your arms by the side body, palms face up. With your next low inhale, gather the energy. Allow the hands to meet together in prayer up above the head in high prayer. Slow exhale, hands gently touch the crown of the head, symbolic of your union with your spiritual truth. However, that shows up for you today. Between your eyes, your intuition, your guiding force, your third eye center, your Ajna Chakra. All the way down to your heart center, your Anjali Mudra, where you reconnect with the universe, with the planet, with all sentient beings. From here, from this place of peace, of quietude, let's set the vibrational tone for practice with three ohms. Inhale. And the last one in the divine light in me honors and acknowledges the divine light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Let's start our practice. Come all the way back up, unravel the legs, lay down flat on your back, prepare to warm up the core. So you'll bend into your knees, bring the heels close to the sit bones and place the block between the thighs as low as you can. Squeeze the block. Bring the hands at the nape of the neck, draw the elbows in, put deep breath in, lengthen through the spine, exhale, lift the shoulders of the ears, gaze at the belly button, we'll hold it here for five. Four, stay high, keep your toes active. Three, two, and one. Inhale, release back down. Tap your elbows down. Exhale, elbows come in. Shoulders up the ears. Gaze at the belly button. Your Nadi Chakra Drishti will hold for five. Four, a little higher. Engage your core. Three, two, one. Inhale, release back down. Here's your last time. Prepare to start your crunches. Exhale, elbows in. Shoulders up the earth. Hold it here, five, squeeze your block, four, three, two, last one, such a tiny process. You keep your shoulder high and take tiny crunches at the top for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, flip the right foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, switch foot, one, Two, three, squeeze your block. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Both feet up the earth. Squeeze your block. Maybe you want to catch me in thighs. Lift a little higher. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Legs straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 50, flip the hands by the side, body keep on pressing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, forty more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last thirty. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last 20, you want to bring the fingers to the toes, maybe touch them, go there. 20, 9, 8, squeeze the block, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release all the way back down. Release the block, pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug. Rock the body from side to side, reconnect with breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Three more. Two. And one. Come back to center. Extend the legs straight up into the sky. To protect the low back, we're starting by lifting the hips. Place the hands underneath your tailbone. Your hands are going to be in a little triangle, just like this. 
You have sarigot injuries, you keep your shoulders, the back of the head down. Otherwise, join me, inhale, lengthen, lift the shoulders, look at the body part. Exhale, lower the right leg down. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, lower. Now you continue like this, side to side, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay with this variation or you release the hands and catch the top leg. 30 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twenty. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one, right leg up, left foot floats up, ears hold if you're five, gaze to the right toes, relax your shoulders, four, slow down your breathing, three, two, one, switch leg, hold five, four, keep your toes active, separate it, three, two, and one, release all the way back down, pull your knees in, catch your knees, big toes touch, Take your knees to your quarters here. Reach to four corners of the room. Reconnect with your ujjayi. For three. For two. One. Opposite direction. Three. Two. And one. Nice and easy. Extend the legs out in front of you. Cross right and curl over the left. Make sure your low back is stuck to the earth. You might have to bend into your knees. Tuck the pelvis under. Prepare to warm up the obliques. Inhale, lengthen the hands at the neck of the neck. Exhale, lift the shoulders of the ears. That's your starting point. Inhale here. Exhale, lift and twist to the right. Back to center. Lift and twist to the left. Side to side. 50, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Toes active. 4, 3, 2, 1, 40. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 30, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, switch leg, left leg go over the right, you have 50, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, forty, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, thirty, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twenty, we're almost there, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the last ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, last one. We meet back to center. Extend your arms in T. Release the legs, bend the knees. Close, close to the sit bones, but you separate your feet a little wider than the hips. And winch your right breast side to side. Gaze on the opposite side of the knees. You can release your cervical spine for three. Deep breath, two. And one, come back to center, knees together, catch me in the thighs for yourself though. Extend the legs out in front of you, straight legs. We're gonna find, you see something, oh God. Okay. We're gonna find our crow fingers, our hands flat. Point the toes, internally rotate the thighs, straight spine. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. With your inhale, lift the right leg up, pull belly up and in, hold it here, five. Four, slowing down. Toes active, three, look at your toes, two. One, slowly release the right leg down. Inhale, lift the left leg up, point the left toes, hold it here, internally rotate the thigh, four, five. Four, straight spine. Three, puff out the chest, proud yogis. Two, one, exhale, release back down. Now you stay with this, we're gonna hold the last one for 10, one leg at a time, or both legs. If you're alternating, five counts, five counts. There we go, bring it up and hold for 10. With a smile, nine, eight, Seven, straight spine, six, enough for the shaking, five, four, three, two, 
and one slowly release down. Bend into your knees, piece finger up to the big toes, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Paschimottanasana, deep seated forward fold. You connect chest and thighs, keep your spine nice and long. Hold it here, breathe. Your knees are bent or straight, straight depending on your flexibility, how you feel today, for three. Use the check cell to go a little deeper for two. Remember, you just at the beginning of your practice, so don't force too much. And one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release, peace finger. Cross the legs at the ankle, find yourself up into your box. Release the crown of the head down, shake your head yes, no. Take some neck rotation, release any tension you carry in your cervical spine. And then start to sway the body from side to side, shoulders one direction, hips to the opposite. All the way to your hip circles, if it feels right for you, you reach again to the four corners of the room and unravel the spine, unravel the mind, it feels so good. Stay connected to breath, opposite direction. Shift the polarity of your circle, you're shifting the energy. And back to center, back into box, neutral spine. Inhale, open up your heart into your cow. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, gaze up, gentle sway of the low back. Exhale, press the ears away, pull belly up and in, round the spine into cat and shift the weight forward. Slow the movement down again. Inhale, you slowly open to cow, look up, pause at the top. Exhale, round, pull belly up and in. Empty the breath at the bottom. One more time, inhale, open up your heart, gaze up, cow. Feet relax and now exhale, round into cat. Sing into your cat pose, you're just warming up the body, the shoulders, the wrist, hold it here, shift the weight forward, gaze at the navel, your navel for three, for two, and one. Keep your cat spine, your cat pose, just curl up the toes, and with your next exhale, slowly press up. Into your downward facing dog, your outer mukha svanasana. Here's your down dog. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. You keep your arms straight and strong. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Shoulder blades away from each other. Relax the neck. Keep the gaze at the belly button. Elongate through your spine. Tailbone up. Heels long to touch the ears. If you're there, you have the toes off the ears. Here you go. That's your downward facing dog. With a deep inhale, slowly rise up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, release the ears down. Slow movement. Again, inhale high on the toes. Exhale, the ears down. Inhale high on the toes. Exhale, the right heel down, the left knee bend. Look under the left armpit. Inhale back on the toes. Exhale down to the opposite side. Look under the right armpit. Inhale high on the toes. Now you continue like this. Slow control movement. You connect each movement with each breath as you walk your dog from side to side for three. Deep breath. Two. And one. Come back to center. Back to down dog. With your next inhale, come high onto your tippy toes. Start to shift the weight forward around the spine. Find yourself into your plank. Hold it here. Five. Press the ears to the back of the room. Four. Three more. Shoulders away from the ears. Two. And one. Exhale back down dog. We have two more like this. Just waking up the body. Inhale, round the spine. Shift the weight forward. Now if you need to, you lower down on three knees. You take care of yourself. Four, five. Four, pull belly up and in. Three, two, and one. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, round. Shift the weight forward. Strong plank. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two more. And one, exhale, press back down, dog. With your next inhale, come high on the toes. Bend into your knees and look forward on the exhale. Gentle walk, float at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway, find your straight spine. You might have to bend your knees together, protect your spine. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. If that's easy here for you, you extend the knees to the back of the room without compromising your form. Exhale, fold over the legs. Bend into your knees, connect chest and thighs, and open up the shoulders to the front of the room. 
Ram here, shed your head, yes. No, let go of any tension. Next look, inhale, we rise all the way up into your mountain, your tadas, and I reach up to the mountain sky. Exhale, fold over the legs, Uttanasana, interlace the fingers, press palms, open the shoulders. Inhale into your halfway lift. Plant the hands in front of you, come high onto your tippy toes, lean forward, you walk, float, hands sent to the back of the mat, high to low push up. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, up dog, open up your heart. Exhale, press back down dog. We'll take one more like this, then we add on. Inhale, come high onto your tippy toes, gently warming up the body. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Walk, float, and stand at the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine, bend into your knees if you need to. You can also flip the fingers to the back of the room. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale to rise all the way up, Tadasana. Take the primary center, maybe take a jump or back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, straight spine, hands flat in front of you, high on the toes, walk, float, hands down to the back of the mat, Chaturanga. Inhale, Lord Ramuga, up dog. Exhale, I don't look at down dog. Inhale, send the right leg up into the sky. Point the right toes down towards the ears. Keep your right, your legs, your right leg straight and strong, your elbow straight and strong. Hold it here, five. Inhale, hip square, four. Pull up and in, three. Deep breath, two. One, exhale, pull the right knee to the nose. Shift the weight forward, hold it here, five. Four, three, two more. And one, now look forward and softly place the right foot down between your hands. Stay up on the back on the back toes if you need to, you lower down onto your left knee, you take care of yourself. From your core, arms by the side, inhale, guide you up into your press of lunge. Take a gentle back bend, you want to cactus the arms open, open your heart a little deeper, squeeze the shoulder blades, go there, four, five. Well, it's time to break, four, three more, two, and one, inhale, hands up, look up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Let's make a triangle with your right foot, with your hands, prepare for some handstand step up. You don't have to take a handstand today, you take it to your variation. You're taking a gentle practice, you're gonna stay here on the inhale. Start to lean forward, roll forward, send the left leg up. Exhale, tap the left toes down, then back, okay? Gentle, rolling forward. And back. If you have this easily, you keep the left leg high and the hip square, the left leg straight. So another one is not bent, it's straight. Bend into the right knee and extend. Bend into the right knee and extend. If that's easy, keep your elbow straight. As you extend, you take a little lift. Back down, doesn't have to be high. Maybe a bigger lift. Back down. You have 10 counts to play on your own at your own rhythm. Doesn't mean you take 10, you can take less. You can use a wall to be safe for 10. On the inhale, you bring it up. We'll hold the last one. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Straight arms. Five more. Four. Keep on breathing. Three more. Two, soft landing. Last one, we hold. So either hold it here into your standing split or up into your handstand. For five. Four, you get out of it, you go right back into it. Three more. Two, and one. Release the feet down between your hands. Okay, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fall over the legs. Inhale to rise into your chair or your Ud Katasana. Tuck the pelvis center. Keep your toes active. Bicep by the ears. Hold it here. Breathe. Five. Four. Three more. Two. And one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left elbow outside of the right knee. Gentle twist. You inhale to lengthen first. Exhale, go deeper in your twist. Gaze over the right shoulder. Four, five. Four. Three, 
two more. And one, stay here or look down, root the right foot down, come high up onto your left tippy toes and set the left foot back. Here's your new, you're on your twisted crescent lunge. You want to find the arms open, go there, hold five, four, gaze over the right shoulder, left hand flat if you can, you can use your block underneath, three more, deep breath, two, and one, hands in prayer, inhale, rise all the way up to crescent, exhale, bend the hands down, walk, float, hands down to the back of the mat, chaturanga, inhale, Lord, Vamukha, Abdha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, down dog. Catch your breath. Hold it here in your down dog. Hold five. Four. Three more. Two. And one. Opposite side. Come high onto your tippy toes. Inhale, the left leg reaches high. Hold it here. Left leg straight on strong. Straight arms. Five. Four. Toes active. Three. Deep breath. Two. One, exhale, the knee to the nose, round the spine, shift the way forward, hold it here, five, four, three, two more, and one, lift the chin, softly place the left foot between the hands, sink low onto your toes, onto your hips, lower the right knee down if you need, arms by the side, inhale, rise, press, stay here, cactus the arms open, squeeze the short base, puff out the chest, hold it here, five, deep breath, four, Three more on your lower, two, and one. Inhale, hands up, look up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Find your little triangle with your hands, with your left foot. Remember your first variation. You can sit with this left, right leg up. And then you tap. What's important is to bring the weight into your hands, the shoulders past the wrist. Back down, keep your elbows straight and strong. Otherwise, you take your little lift, keep the right leg lifted, and just bend and straighten. You don't even have to take your lift. You can stay with this. Or you take your lift. You have 10, maybe a little higher. Nine, you'll notice a difference from one side to the other. One side is a little stronger, that's normal. Eight, keep on breathing, straight arms. Seven, get out of your shoulders. Six, you come up on an inhale. Five more. Four. Soft landing. Three. Two more. Just have fun with it. Don't be too serious. Last one we hold. Hold it up for five. If you get out of it, you go right back into it. For five. Four. Three more. Two, here we go, and one, release the feet down between your hands, inhale, lift halfway, straight spine, exhale, fold over the legs, Uttanasana. Deep breath in, rise into your chair, Uttanasana, bicep by the ears, hands in prayer, pull body up and in, tuck by the center, hold it here, five, gaze up, four, three, gaze to the mountain sky, two, and one, inhale, links, and exhale, twist. Right elbow outside of the left knee. Gaze over the left shoulder, links and through the spine once more, inhale. Twist on the exhale, four, five. Four, move your twist, three more. Two, and one, bring the gaze down, come high onto your right tippy toes, big step to the back of the mat. Here's your twisting lunge. Okay, readjust the hips. Stay here into your twist, gaze over the left shoulder, or you can find the arms open. Four, five. Four, slow down your breathing. That's your rest. Three more. Two. And one, hands back to prayer, back to center. Inhale, crescent. Your Adanasana. Exhale, hands down. Walk, float, hands down to the back of the mat. Chaturanga, inhale, Lorva Mukha. Exhale, find your way back in your down dog, your Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, send the right leg up into the sky. Exhale, the right knee to the right tricep, touch and hold for five, four, building strength, three, two, one to the left tricep, you hold for five, four, three, 
two, one. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Exhale, pull the right knee to the nose, plant the right foot down. Back foot flat, 60 degree. Prepare for your warrior one. Be on the glass and one. Arms by the side. Inhale to right. Be on the glass and one. Make sure your hips are square. The right hip back, the left hip forward. Keep the bicep by the ears. Take a gentle back bend. Head to the arms open again. Hold it here. Five. Sink it low. Four. Front toes active. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, hands up. Look up. Exhale, lower the hands down. We're gonna keep flying. This time, bring it up into your crooked tree. Crooked tree simply means that you're gonna bend into the knees. So it looks like this. You start with the left leg lifted. Keep your chin up. Bend into the right knee. Straighten. You can stay with this. Bend. Straighten. Or little lift. Bigger lift. Keep the chin lifted. Take five. Four. Keep on breathing. Three. Two. Building strength. Last one. We'll hold. Go five. Four. If you get out of it, you go right back into it. Two more. Last one. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Sink it into your warrior two. Extend the rotation of the thighs, front toes active. Reach your front, reach your back. Hold it here, five. Your lower, four. Deep breath, three. Two. And one, feet the front palm, reverb, inhale, hold it here, five. Viparita, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, extend it, sun angle pose. Stay here, take a half bind, maybe a full bind, hold it here, five, four, three, two, one. Stay here, look down, step the left foot forward. Bring it up into your broader paradigms if you have that practice. Hold it here. You can stay here, extend the leg up. Five, four, keep on breathing. Three, a lot for the wobble. Two, and one. Release the right foot down. Without losing your bind, set the left foot back. Now, on the end, when you release your bind, back up into your warrior two. Exhale, spark the hands down. Walk, float, and stand to the back of the mat. Inhale, up, dog. Exhale, down dog. Same thing on the opposite side. Stay here, stay with me. Catch your breath here first. Stay in your down dog. Five down. Four. Take re releasing breath if you need to. You exhale out of the mouth. Three more. Two. And one. Inhale, the left leg reaches up into the sky. Three legs dog. Exhale, left knee to the left tricep. Your whole five. Pull belly up and in four, straight on. Three, two, one, left knee, right tricep, hold five. Four, stay here. Three, two, one, inhale, left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, place the foot between the hands, back foot 60 degree angle. Arms by the side, inhale, rise, we have a glass now one, warrior one. Readjust your posture, make sure your hips are square, bicep by the ears. Stay here on the exhale, you puff up the chest. Cactus the arms open, hold it here, five. Gaze up, four, blossom your heart to the mountain sky, three more. Two, and one, inhale, hands up, look up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Find your triangle pose, your triangle with your hands, your left foot. We go back into our crooked tree. So this time the right leg is bent. Lean forward, bend into the left knee. And lean. You stay with this. So you take little tiny lift. Little tiny lift. Maybe a little higher. Crooked tree. If you can use less momentum, better for you. If you have to use lots of momentum, you use the one. Four, five. Oops, Madeline is here. Four more. Madeline, go back in the bedroom. Can I say hi? Three more and go back in the bedroom. Continue, two more. Last one, we bring it up, hold, hold your crooked tree, hold five. Four, 
three, two more. Last one, inhale, rise up. Grab it last now, one, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Hold it against your warrior two, peaceful, powerful warrior. You look to the top middle finger, of the left one, sink low, five. Front toes active, four. Deep breathing, three, two, and one. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior, of the parita. Hold it here, five, four, Three more, two, and one. Exhale, extend it, and angle pose. Hold it here. Take a half bind or a full bind. Hold five, four, three, two more, and one. Stay here or look down. Set the right foot forward. Maybe you bring it up into your eagle pose. Hold it here. Five, four. Go, Maddie. Three. Two, and one. Lower the left foot down. Find your way back into your bind. Release it. On the inhale, rise back up. Warrior two. Exhale, spine the hands down. Walk, float. Hands stand to the back of the mat, Chaturanga. Inhale into your Urdhva Mukha, your up dog. Exhale, back into your box. First, so good. All the way down on your forearms, find your happy pose, your Anahastasana. Make sure you keep your hips above the knees. You need to you place a block underneath your chest for your more support, maybe the medium way, maybe the lowest way. No block, chest, chin all the way down to the earth. Catch your breath. Hold it here. You're gonna close your eyes. You wanna go a little deeper, you can bend into the right knee, catch right angle, right hand. Left hand, left ankle, pull your heels, close your sit bones, hold five, four, three, two more, and one, and release, back into your box. Okay, I think we're warm enough, we're ready to go <sighs> to the wall, to the wall we go. Here we go. So for that, you're going to pull your mind at the wall, okay, make sure it's touching. To the phone a little bit. Here we are. Okay. Sounding a down dog at the wall. You're here, stretch the wall. You might have to move the dream catcher out of the waist, doesn't catch your teeth. Here's the down dog at the wall. First thing we're gonna do is bring the toes to the wall, bend into the knees, and hold it here again. You're building strength, you'll hold it here for five. Four, three, two more. One, you're doing it so well, you can stay five more. Four, joyfully alive, you're smiling, stay true to yourself. Two, and one. Slowly release the feet down. Lower down onto your knees. Bring it up into your camera. Relax your arms for five. So you swim forward, backward, forward now. And then back into your box, back into your down dog. You can stay with the same variation. The toes at the wall, knees bent, or you start to extend your legs. Bring yourself nice to ground. Get into your shoulders here. Push the wall away with your feet, your toes active. Hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five more, don't go into automatic, you stay with me, two, and one. Lower the left foot down, the left foot close to the wall, bring the right knee on the wall, just like this. Now you can stay here, extend the right leg all the way up, find your standing speed at the wall. If that's easy, you start to float the left heel up the wall, Hold it here, 10, nine, keep on breathing, eight, seven, six, push the air, so with your arms, with your hands, five more. Four, three, we're almost there. Two, and one. Release the left foot down, walk your hands in the center of your mat, and place the right foot down between your hands. The left foot finds the wall, the left toes point down towards the ears. You prepare for your warrior three. We have a dress in a three. You can stay here with your both fingers. Maybe you bring the hands at the heart center. You can float the hands by the side, 
or bring it in front of your base to bend the ears. Hold it here, five, four, peaceful, powerful warrior, three, two, and one. Release the right hand down. You have your crow fingers. You can always use a block. With your next inhale, you open up into your half moon. So you have to point the left toes towards the left side. Hold it here. You can throw the right hand over here. Go there. Hold five, four, three, two more, and one. Release the left hand down. Your left foot still at the wall. We're gonna big, take a big step. Right foot finds the left. Find your way back into your L. Send the right leg up. Hold it here, maybe you take a standing split and the wall, hold it here, five, four, three, two more, and one, release the right foot all the way down, left foot all the way down, find yourself up in, turn to your knees, kneeling position, swing the arm backward, catch your breath, forward, catch your breath, okay, same thing on the opposite side, ready? Got this. Back into your down dog. First variation, toes at the wall. Second variation, you find yourself into your L. Hold it here for five, four, three, two more. And one. Release the right foot down this time. Bring the left knee at the wall. You still with this, or you extend the left leg up. Standing spin at the wall. Walk your hands in. Maybe you float the right foot. Hold it here, breathe. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six straight arms, five more, four, three more, two, and one. Release the right foot down, walk your hands, center of your mat, place the left foot between your hands. Step the right foot back at the wall, prepare for your Vyavadrasana three. The right toes point down, you stay with the heel, crow finger, straight spine, hands at the heart center, airplane arms, or all the way forward. You have five counts. Four, stay strong. Three, two, and one. Release the left hand down, crow fingers, you'll use a block, point the right toes towards the right side, and on the inhale, open up, half moon. Andra Chandrasana, you stay here, float the left hand, hold five, four, keep on breathing, three, two more, and one. Release the hands down, step the left foot at the wall. Okay, so this time we bring the left leg all the way up, standing speed at the wall, and you hold five, four, stay strong in your shoulders, three, two more, and one. Release the left foot down. Release the right foot down, down onto your knees. Relax your shoulders. Opposite direction, relax. Perfect. We're finished with a little back bend series at the wash. You're gonna turn around, just like this. Now let's see where you are in your back bend. Lay down flat onto your back, extend your arms up. You could stay with this. You just slide the fingers underneath the shoulders, elbows coming in, and on the inhale, press the hips up. You don't have to go any further than that. The next variation, you come up to the crown of the head. Next variation, all the way up into your back bend. You can stay here and hold your back bend, or you join me, walk the hands, not the hands, that would be your feet. You walk the feet at the wall, extend the legs, look in between your hands, hold it here, five, four, three more. Two, and one. Now you stay here, you can walk your feet back down, or you bring the right foot back, the left foot forward, take a forward fold. Interlace the fingers, press palms, open up. Four, five, four, three. Same thing, opposite side, and we're down. Two, and one, okay. Find your way back at the top of the mat. Back into your variation of your back bend. And we'll finish with gentle postures at the wall. Hands up. Slide the fingers underneath the shoulders. Press the hips up. Stay here. Up to the front of the head. All the way up. You choose. Hold it here. Or walk the feet at the wall. We'll hold for five. Four. Take care of yourself. Three more. Two. Now, if you've never done that before, you don't do it. Last one. Left foot down, then the right. 
take your foot full, put it here five. Interlace three fingers, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands down. Find your way back into your box. Cross the legs, make sure you grab the top of the mat here. Go sideways at the one and send the legs all the way up. Here we are. Keep the knees bent. You're going to have to slide back actually just a little bit. Slide all the way back. So your knees are bent 90 degrees. On the inhale, extend the right leg up. Exhale, cross the right ankle over the left. Use your right hand to extend and rotate the right thigh. Hold it for free. For five, four, three, two, and one. Stay with this or pull the left leg in until it's the fingers around the left shin. Use your right elbow to push the right thigh away. Keep your anchors flex. Hold it here. Five. Four. Nice release. Slow down your breathing. You made it to the top of the mountain. You're ready to go down now. Two more. And one. Relax. Bring the feet back at the wall. 90 degrees. Left leg is up. Cross left ankle over the right. Use the left hand, extend and rotate the thigh. Relax your shoulders, hold it here. Five, flex the ankles. Four, deep breath. Three, you can use your releasing breath. Exhale out of the mouth if you need to. And one, interlace the fingers around the right chin. Put your leg in as you push the left thigh away. Extend and rotate the left thigh. Hold five. Ankles flex, so it's active. Four. Three, two more, and one. Release the legs, scoot to the top of the mat. You want to bring your seat on at the wall. You don't have to scoot. Here we are. Then bring the sole of the feet together. Use your hands to extend that rotate the thighs. Some of you will have the knees touching your, some of you will have the heels close to the seat bones. Hold it here, breathe. So then you're breathing. Deep inhale, breathe in out. Exhale through the nose. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Release, extend the legs up, soft bend into the knees. We'll lift the hips, slide the hands underneath you. Catch your opposite elbows, then the lower all the way back down. Keep your legs straight up to the sky. Point the toes, keep your toes active, separate it, hold it here, breathe, five. Nice opening of the shoulders, four, three more, two, and one. Now bend into your knees, lift the hips, release the hands, go to the opposite side. So whichever form you had underneath, you switch it. Release the hips back down, extend the legs back up, hold it here, five. Four, three, two more, and one. Bring the legs all the way back up. Release your hands. You can stay here and enjoy your shavasana with your legs up the wall. You can stay here for as long as you need. If you need to find yourself flat on your back for your full on shavasana, you're welcome to. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable, close the eyes. And moving on now, allow yourself to assimilate your practice, to assimilate all these new openings you created on your mat, you created in your life, for your healing, for your empowerment. You made it through your mountain practice. You get to relax now. Notice if you have any lingering tension in your, between your eyebrows and your face, anywhere in the body, see if you can let go. And as you stay here in your Shavasana for as long as you need, as long as you choose, I just want you to know that it is a great honor and pleasure for me to get you through your practice. I hope it served you. I hope you enjoyed that you had some fun on your mat. From my heart to yours, I send you all my love, all my life, all my blessings. Namaste. Stay here a little longer. We'll finish with our Gayatri Mantra, this powerful Sanskrit chant dedicated to your healing, to your empowerment. Please enjoy it. Rest.